In this tutorial, we're going to construct a multiple choice quiz relating to the U.S. presidents. So we're going to construct the basic structure of the quiz. And for each question, we're going to present the user with a picture, a question, and then three multiple choice options. And if they pick the right one, we're going to tell them that they got it correct. And we're going to move forward to the next question. And if they get it wrong, we're going to put up a message saying that they picked the wrong choice. So I'm going to start by creating a brand new project. So I have uh, Android Studio open here. I'm going to get File, New, and then hit the New Project button. And it's going to ask me for the application name. And I'm going to put in President's, Pres I'll call it President Quiz, just to avoid using the apostrophe in the name. And then I'll hit uh, the next button on the bottom here. And uh, this looks to be all OK. And I'll start with an empty activity. And the main activity, which is the default name for the, for the main class, I'm going to change that to quiz. And I'm going to hit finish and it's going to build my project for me here. Okay, I'm back now and the project has initialized and uh, I've got a fresh clean project here. I'm going to switch over to the layout view and here's the layout. I'm going to just resize these windows a little bit to make the layout a little bit bigger and we're going to go ahead now and uh, I'm going to remove this hello world uh, text which we're not going to need in our project. So here we have the president quiz uh, title on the top and now what we're going to do here is we're going to put a, a box to hold a picture and then we're going to have a question over here and then three possible multiple choices and then a submit button down here. So that's the, the general layout we want to build. So let's start by grabbing this uh, image view widget and just bringing that on to the center of the screen. Uh, like that and then uh, let's put underneath that um, a box to hold the question so that should just be a plain text view and I'll line that up underneath and then we're gonna have a group of three choices and the way we're gonna implement that is by using a group of radio buttons now, we're going to choose radio buttons instead of using checkboxes because we want the user to be limited to picking only one choice on a question. With checkboxes, they can check multiple boxes, and we don't want that. So we also want to group the radio buttons together uh, to make sure that only one gets picked. So I'm going to use this radio group container. I'm going to put that right underneath here. And inside there, I'm going to put the three radio group buttons. So I'm going to pick three radio buttons, and I'm going to put one in there, and then two more. So let's just line that up here. That's another one. And the third one will go right there. And we've got our three buttons. And now I'm going to just click on this radio group Okay, what I want to do now is I want to change the size of the container that holds the radio buttons so that instead of uh, filling the parent, I only want it to take up as much space as is required by these three buttons. So I'm going to come out over here to the layout and I'm going to change the height and width, which currently say match parent, and I'm going to change those to wrap content. So here and here, and you can see that the radio group button now. Uh, the radio uh, button group is now much smaller, which is what I want. So I want to have more space to work with for the submit button underneath. Okay, and the other thing I have to do is, unlike the other components, for some reason, Android Studio does not give a default ID to a radio group container. So I'm going to have to give it an ID here. So right here, you see it's blank right now. I'm going to call this uh, choices underscore radio group like that RG uh, for radio group 
and that will uh, be something that I'll be used to identify this uh, group of buttons in the code. And uh, let's see here on this text, uh, this is going to hold our question and I'm going to change that a little bit also and I'm going to make that a little bit uh, different in size also. So I'm going to come over here to the layout width and I'm going to say fill parent and I'm going to uh, leave the height I think uh, yeah, I think that's probably okay there. We'll just leave that one alone. All right, and then the image view, which I should have up here somewhere. Uh, let's see, here's the image view. I want to make that a little bit bigger. So let's come up here and make that fill the, the parent on the wide side. And in terms of the height, let's see here. Let's try the fill parent and see what happens there. Oh, that's too big. All right, I guess we'll just um, leave it as wrap content for now, and uh, hopefully when we put the picture in there, it'll automatically size. All right, the other thing that we need is a submit button underneath, and I think we'll be done with the uh, with the layout at that point. So let's go to widget. We just need a regular button, and I'm just going to align the center of it right there and right there. And instead of saying uh, new button, I think I wanted to say submit. So let me go over here now and change the text on the button to say submit. I'll make it all caps here. Submit like that. And you see now it says submit there. And I'm going to change the names of some of these elements to make it a little bit uh, more uh, fit the uh, sort of the standards that I have for coding. So let's start with the text box, the, uh, the text box that's used for the question and uh, let's look at the ID field there and here I'm going to call this the uh, the question that's the question uh, question text view like that and then here oops and then here in terms of the radio buttons here I'm on the first radio button uh, I'm going to call that the A radio button go to the ID here again and I'm going to call that the A radio button and I'm going to do the similar naming conventions for the other ones so this is going to be the B radio button and here's going to be the C radio button over here C radio button and let's see what else we have here. I've got the oh, and the submit button here. I should also call that the sub oops, submit underscore button. And am I missing anything? Let's see about the image view. Uh, I'm gonna change that to call that the uh, the uh, picture underscore uh, iv for image view. And oops. And uh, looking at the names now, here I've got the picture, I've got the question, I've got the choices for the radio group, and uh, it looks like everything is okay except one of the radio buttons kind of got moved out of the way here. I'm not sure what happened to the third button. Uh, should be in the group here like that. Okay, so I think we're good now. There's the picture, there's the question, then the three radio buttons here, and then the submit button right underneath. Let me just see if I can move that up a little bit uh, right underneath there. Okay, so that's sort of the format of the screen that I want.